Good morning, North American traders. Special hello to my buddies in Toronto, Bank of Canada today, people. So, let's be on our toes. Uh, let's start off where we left off in Europe. We're bearish Aussie. It's going straight up here. Uh, we don't think this is going to get above 80. And if this does turn around here, you're going to get yourself a nice right shoulder. But Aussie through 79.40 is interesting at privateer here. We had a load of bearish comments in the euro today, which basically pushed us down to 08. Uh, but each time uh, we had an ECB fella say something about the euro, it would bounce right back higher. So we've been 0850 basically for the European morning. Not much to do here. We're going to try and collect euros on any kind of false break through 121.90. But nothing to do here in euro at 122.35. What else is there? We've got uh, cable here. Same type of pattern now. We have this sort of head area that was created in Asia. Is this a right shoulder? Are we going to get another right shoulder? We'll have to see on this. The bull bear pivot in cable. 138.36. We have been 58.98 in Europe. Pretty quiet session. Let's talk about dollar CAD. The majority of the market expects the Bank of Canada to raise today, so you will get a lot more volatility if they do nothing. Obviously, if they do nothing, the 200 hour is 124.62. And this also coincides with some hourly highs. If they do not raise today, we expect 200 points in dollar CAD. So, you know, that first 80 points is almost impossible to get liquidity on. But be ready for this because uh, there's going to be volatility in CAD. If they do raise as expected, you can probably expect. Uh, this to head down to maybe 123.55. I don't think they're going to be incredibly bullish on their commentary, so it could almost be like a dovish raise situation. But either way, have a plan for both sides. Be ready for Bank of Canada today. Uh, we're having a close look at this dollar czar today. 12.36 and more importantly 12.55 these are the key levels in dollars are we're kinda keeping an eye on this because we're also negative on stocks stocks high today is 89.50 we're there right now we've had a very very muted session sort of 83 89 but the price action here yesterday was bearish and so we're just kind of looking at maybe the 50% retracement of this which is going to be right around 90 and then so 61.8 will be around 96 97 as a sell zone today in stocks let's go to the cryptos obviously they've been in the headlines uh, you should be buying Bitcoin down here 10,000 and 8,000 do not leverage this position because this could get even wilder and there's no reason to think that this couldn't go to 6,000 just briefly for whatever reason but Bitcoin's not going away uh, these hysterical opportunity these hysterical headline opportunities as we call them are times that you need to get in and buy your cryptos Ethereum same thing gotta be long here Got to be long again at 650. We're going to look back on this period and say this was our opportunity to get long Ethereum. Those of you who are in it at the very beginning remember when Ethereum went to 11 cents briefly on one of the exchanges. You just got to sit with the volatility on this. Volatility is your friend. The key in cryptos is do not leverage. 
because if you're a forced seller or a forced buyer in these kind of volatile markets, the market will find you and force you to either buy or sell. So do not leverage your crypto positions. Finally, dollar yen come off. Uh, not too much to say. The high was 93. It was looking kind of bit up there, but we're, we're in general bearish dollar yen. There's not much to do except for wait and start planning for 110. Psychologically, massively important. Uh, today's low was 19. Through 110 is really going to open things up for a move all the way down to here, 107.30. So start planning for your 110 and get ready to put your plan into action. All right, that's it for now. I will uh, let you guys get to it. Bank of Canada is the big, big event today. Good luck with that, guys. Ciao.